Hi, thanks for watching my Mini Builder Carousel how to videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about the carousel items and how to actually set it up to be uh, used for your, yourself. So let's go ahead and get to that. So, right here, you see we have this we have two different options we can have on the carousel slots. We can have a large display or we can have multiple small displays. And technically, you could have, you know, uh, more going downwards, but uh, for, for make it easier we only do two um, and we just scroll to the right so as we scroll right and left we can add more of these slots so how it's broken up is that these are carousel slots themselves and then those are filled in with the carousel items so let's go ahead and uh, uh, see what happens if you click one of these if you click one it actually opens up uh, a web page of your choosing so I'll go ahead and close that down and if you also if you right click and drag you can also scroll the bar back and forth. So let's, let's go ahead and change these to what we want for our own game. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Menu Builder Carousel and go down to UMG. And what we'll find is a W underscore main menu uh, widget, which is right here. Uh, now, in here, don't get too uh, alarmed when you see a, a lot of these size boxes and overlays and scale boxes. Most of that handles the anchoring of the, the window whenever um, we resize it. In fact, if we go ahead and hit play here, I'll show some of that. So right now, if right now we're at 16-9 uh, ratio, uh, and we go stretch it to the right and left, you'll see that the windows will scale and stay centered correctly. So that scale box helps with how that handles it. And in fact, if I go bigger than my monitor or more horizontal, the, the scroll box will actually adjust to show more area. So I've uh, set those up in a unique, unique way to handle that. But if you keep at 16.9, that'll be what the resolution we're designed for. If not, it scales uh, pretty smartly to the other other um, sizes of your windows. So that's why you have a lot of these scale boxes, overlays, and size boxes. Things work uh, well with uh, the correct hierarchies. and uh, So that's a good example if you're having some trouble with how to line those things up. All right, so onward with the uh, slots. <clears throat> So the main thing we want to do is go to this thing called square box carousel. That's actually what holds the widgets, these carousel slots. For now, we'll go ahead and just go ahead and uh, delete these out. So we'll delete and delete, we'll delete all of them out. So we have nothing left. Uh, I will keep the spacer there just because uh, that keeps the alignment to the edge of the screen. And I wanted to go ahead and add a new carousel slot. Uh, one thing to point out here, it's very important because there's some UMG weirdness sometimes with cut and copying or copy and pasting. Uh, don't copy a, an existing uh, user slot and uh, or carousel slot and paste it in here. Actually drag a new one in each time. Um, there's some... Uh, I'm using some of the pre-construct nodes, and some of that stuff still has some bugs with uh, copy and pasting versus drag and dropping them, so they don't work exactly the same. So always grab your W, w underscore carousel slot, drag it down to your scroll box, and we want it before the spacer, so we'll drag it up here. And so that's our slot here. And by default, you see it comes in with some options filled in. So we'll click on this and go over here to the details panel under default. And what we'll see is slot items. This is where we actually want to define what kind of uh, slots we have in here, what kind of new slots. So these are called carousel items. So we'll click hit plus one and we'll add one. And right now it takes the other ones away as we're starting to design it with the new pre-construct node. And what we want to use is a uh, carousel item class. So I'll just say item and then W carousel item. That's the class that we want to use for all of them. And right now this is just one of them. Uh, we can make this the full display by clicking that. It takes up the full display of it. If not, we can go with a small display. Either way works. And then the first thing we want to do is go ahead and add a display image. So I'll go ahead and go to um, M underscore. Let's look at some sample pictures I have here. All right. Actually, I think just textures with pipe in here too. Texture. And look for pick sample. All right. Now I drop that in there. Now we have the background image that updates uh, real time there. Um, and then we'll go ahead and add new, new headline. Okay. Uh, news update. Okay. New update released. Enter. And it'll update there. Uh, and the next thing is we'll want to have uh, some news description. Um, so we'll say what is update. New multiplayer class released. Uh, new maps. And more. Right. 
So now what we want to do is uh, when we put our, our mouse over it, you see that it actually uh, comes in underneath it and we take our mouse off of it is to go ahead and drop down. But right now what we need to do is uh, configure that drop down of that drop box. So we'll go back to the carousel slide itself. And um, if we go to this heading drop, that's uh, something we need to put in every time we have um, text underneath that needs to have the pop-up information to, uh, to move it up and down. So by using the default fonts that we have, um, I have installed here, I may change if you use different fonts, the uh, fonts, the sizes, but for every line of description text, you need to add 25. So we'll go ahead and put 25 into there, hit 25. And now what that does, it hides that um, information. If you go back to zero, uh, you can see that it shows up now. Um, that's just for testing. See, okay, that's what it's going to look like during the design view. Uh, what you want to do is put it to 25. And the way to know that that's actually working correctly is that the, the heading news will be on top of the red box. All right, so the next thing is we'll go ahead and add some footer news. Um, download here or check, uh, click to find out more. And that'll take over the footer information here. And then we can also add a, a footer icon. So let's go ahead and look what kind of icons I can uh, pop in there. MI underscore. Um, let's see, menu set. There we go. Zero. We'll do that one. There's a skull. So I got a skull down in there for my uh, image. And then uh, if I want this to actually go to a web page, uh, I could actually put that in there. So I'll go ahead and copy a page of my um, W3 Studios content packs and I'll paste this here and enter. So now anytime that that's clicked, it'll actually open that web page up. Uh, if uh, you don't want it to open a web page up, you can just uh, don't put, leave it blank and it won't do anything. All right, so now we have everything set up. And again, if you wanted to make it big, you could actually do it and it'll resize it automatically. And there you have it. So uh, if we want to add um, a secondary one, let's go ahead and add uh, one underneath it. So we'll go ahead and uncheck this, make it a, a small item and we'll minimize this and we'll add another element, boom. And what this does is gonna give us another item class. We have to put in the carousel item. And now we have one underneath and we can do pretty much the same thing. Um, uh, we could make it a large one, but then it starts getting weird scrolling in a double scroll box, so we won't do that. Um, so we'll go ahead and do a, a display image. So sample, uh, that's a good one to use. Uh, at this time I use material, uh, so you could use a text or material, both. Uh, let's see, let's say, New character. This one will be new character. And then we'll say nothing on this one. So the drop will be real. And we'll go ahead and say um, ch try today. And we'll do a, a menu item also, a footer underscore. We'll do menu number two. And that is that icon there. Perfect. And I don't actually want to go anywhere on this one. So if I go ahead and zoom in, I want to go ahead and uh, save that up and uh, check with my mouse being uh, going over it. And if you no notice that this is still going up too high, so that does still need that 25, even though that's blinking that first line. So that's something just to be aware of. That's what this heading drop is for. It's just to uh, notice that this needs to drop down to here, 25. And there we go. Now that's aligned correctly. So if there's no characters in there, it won't pop up. So before we go much farther, let's go ahead and test this out. So hit save and find this up. And you can see that this is popping up. There we go. And we have our information, we'll click on it. We have a web page. awesome. So that is working there, functionality. But we, we only have two, we could add more if we wanted to. So let's do that. Let's just go ahead and instead of adding a uh, another one down, what we wanna do is uh, go and add another slot. So this is a point you don't want to copy paste. Don't do that. You want to go to carousel slot, drag another one, carousel slot, drag another one, etc. As many as you want to drag in there, you can do. So we'll do that. And I'll move the spacer down here to the bottom. Make sure you always do that. And we hit play. And you can kind of see how, how many slots we can fill in. And if you wanted to have some of those as big slots, we'll take this one here. We'll take, a, we'll take the, the second one and we'll go to um, default items, and we'll make this item class, of course, carousel item, and make it large, make that one a large one, etc. So uh, now it's just the exercise of going through and adding all the news pieces that you want to add to your, your display. 
So if you have any questions, uh, if you uh, or have any problems, feel free to leave questions below, and I'll answer them, answer them as quick as I can. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.